There's been a lot of rumors that Intel is killing off their Intel Arc GPU lineup. And when I first heard that, I was pretty bummed out. A, because I already bought one, and yeah, the drivers do suck. But when they did release the drivers on September 2nd, they were somewhat stable. And for 139 bucks, this card, especially when it comes to video editing, just is freaking insane on what kind of power to value that it provides. Now coming from a NVIDIA 3070 Ti, I was blown away that the performance on rendering out video in both Adobe Premiere as well as Filmora 11 using this card were about the same. When it comes to exporting out using AV1 as the codec, this card just blows it away. It's stupid fast. So as some of my viewers pointed out that there were some posts and rumors about Intel killing off the lineup, I was pretty upset and a little depressed. Not only could I have had a abandonware video card, but that also crushes my dreams on buying the A770, which I have a feeling it's going to completely crush my 3070 Ti when it comes to video editing. Now granted, it might not be as powerful as Nvidia or AMD when it comes to gaming, but remember, right now we have horrible drivers that actually do a pretty decent job. So what happens once they polish up the drivers and perfect the performance of their cards, we're going to have to wait. Now, I do have some good news for you. Let me show you. Now, coming on over to WCCF Tech, here is an article where Intel actually refutes the cancellation of the GPU. So, great news is that it appears that it is just a rumor. Scroll on down here, we got Raja Kaduri, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and he's sporting a awesome Intel Arc card that is definitely a much more powerful card than my Arc A380 that I currently have. Moving on down here, we are about these rumors as well. They don't help the team working hard to bring these to market. They don't help the PC graphics community. One must wonder, who do they help? We are still in first gen, and yes, we had more obstacles than planned to overcome, but we persisted. Now, they may be persistent, but it's already been 12 days since the last driver release, and they haven't released any other updates yet, which is kind of bumming me out but I just kind of be patient. I know that I wanted to be perfect from the launch, but at least this time around, it was a flop with the driver instead of a paper launch like it was with Nvidia last time with the 3000 series GPUs. Now drop a comment below and let me know if you do end up buying one of these cards, what do you plan on using it for? For gaming, for video editing, for both? What's more important to you? And tell me what software or games that you're going to be playing. And if there's any demos or if it's a free title, then I may go ahead and do some benchmarks with that in an upcoming video.